And we're back again. Because one day I am going to finish this game, I promise you. But this this last level has been just ridiculous in terms of time. I'm still on one of the sub-bosses, which I thought I was going to finish in the last video and failed. So now the, the last boss has been spoiled because she's not going to get the whole video to herself. She's a bit cross about that, I can assure you. Whining at me all day. I'm not crazy, video game bosses just talk to me! <laughs> okay, maybe I am crazy. Yes! Oh, for goodness sake, that took the best part of, I don't know, 20 seconds longer? Ugh, damn you YouTube and your 10 minute video limit. Yeah, that's my revenge, getting the little green dude really quickly. Still got the same chair, so sorry about the squeaks. I'll buy a new one one day, I promise. Ow! I can't even look at those things anymore, thanks to my earlier comments about them. It's just disturbing as all hell. Where would we be now then? I need to climb my way back to the exit before I go face the last boss. I believe it's this way. Oh god, the pulsating ones are even worse. Sorry, I'll stop, because it's probably putting poor mental images in your heads. Jeez, 2,000 each. Nice. Still nowhere near enough to buy the uh, sh the Uber Shield, but I'll buy a duck. And you're probably wondering why this first time has been sold out the whole game so far. It's because you can only buy it halfway through a level when you've lost some health, because that's what it does. It fills your health back up. And the same is true for the weapon shop and this item. It refills your energy, which is a lot cheaper. There you go. That's it. That's all I need to do. Back to the last level. All I'm going to do now is go fight the last boss. Now, judging by how the bosses have gone so far, it's going to take longer than it usually does, which means I'm, you know, I should still do it okay. And I should still manage it in the 10 minutes of this video as well. Of course, I've said that, I probably cursed it, but you know. Gotta, gotta be positive as best, best I can. Really. Oh, there you go. That's one of the jumps I was talking about. We have to do it perfectly or you'll catch on one of the pickles of death. I've thankfully been able to avoid most of those sections, as far as I remember. Right then. Ah! This level's really awkward. I don't like it. I'm almost done with it, so... I think we go this way. Do we go this way? No, that leads to where the plant was. That's wrong. I need to go higher up. She's right at the top. Which doesn't really make much sense if you think about it, because this is supposed to be a big hole in the ground. So you'd expect her, you know, to be right at the bottom. Oh well. Maybe gravity's screwed up, and going up in this is actually going further into the hole. Or maybe it's just poor game design. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'm just messing. Here she is. Yes, it is a she. An ugly cow as well. Look at her. What's up with that face? I can't do female voices, so I'm not going to try. Lord of death and destruction, eh? Must go down well at parties. And suddenly she's got old woman lines around her face. And then she's... I don't think you'd like her when she's angry because she goes green and weird like the Hulk. <laughs> And goes blonde for some strange reason. Now, don't ask me what the hell she's transformed into because I could never figure it out. All I know is she throws her heart at you and then tries to attack you with that sickle thing. That's it, that's all she does. You just sit here, aim up diagonally, shoot her in the face, and duck that every single time. Oh, and move slightly to the right so the heart doesn't land on you. I kid, it, it doesn't stay as easy as this for long, but this part is ridiculous. And if I even got hit, I'd be embarrassed. The heart thing freaked me out a lot as a kid. This whole game freaked me out, but this is you know, one of the highlights of the freakishness. There we go, that's that section done. 
And you think you've won, but, you know, last bosses are never that simple, are they? Now her face melts off and she starts floating around and throwing the sickle at you. But that is it. That's her only attack. Although she's doing it one hell of a lot more often than she usually does. That'll be hard mode for you again, isn't it? I think it's time to put the suit on, isn't it? Now I've got a duck and I've got spare lives, so I should manage this anyway, despite the relentless sickle throwing. Depends how many hits she takes, I suppose. As long as she decides to float up there out of range. Biatch. I don't really know why she's wearing a samurai's armor either. But she isn't one. You're a fake samurai. And she only has one arm now, so it doesn't really even protect anything. God, this is going to take a long time, I can tell. It normally takes a fair while to kill her. And that's on normal when you're not going through this bullshit. But like I said, I've got a duck. I've got some spare lives. I should manage it. I'll be mighty pissed if I don't manage it because then I'll have to come all the way back here and do it again from scratch. The hits won't, you know, save. Oh, God. I'm not liking my chances, actually. Not feeling confident about this anymore. I was before I got here because I just remember it from normal where it's bearable how often she throws the thing. This is getting ridiculous. I throw a bomb at you! It doesn't do anything, but it's fun. You might have registered one here, I wasn't really paying attention. Certainly not worth it, though. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't hurt bosses. Never tested it, so I could be very wrong, but I'm I'm fairly sure. Oh, I haven't hit her in a while, this isn't going well. So the longer I leave it, the more my shield's gonna wear down, and I only get one full use out of it. Once that energy is gone, it's gone. Does energy come back when you die? I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I hope so, because that will make this very possible, and I'll do it for sure. This isn't gonna fit in one video, I'm fairly certain either. So she sort of got a video to herself, even if it's only the second half of the fight. Oh, what's she doing floating up there? Get back down here, bitch! Oh, I can't hit her at all. This is a total waste of my shield. I'm going to turn it off for a sec. Then she comes down. Typical. Just fucking typical, that is. Ugh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. You know, I I'd ex I would have expected the giant eye in the middle of her chest to be the weak point. It's not, though. It's the face. I think they did that on purpose. You know? I think the designers of this game thought, okay, we'll give each boss what looks like an obvious weak point and then make the actual weak point something else. Just to mess with your head. That's something they do, isn't it? Wankers. <laughs> I'll have to turn the shield off while she's up there so I don't waste any energy. I think this boss has good music, personally. Certainly fitting for the kind of battle it is. That is assuming you can hear the music properly because I haven't really tested the volume uh, terribly well. Like I said earlier, my speakers are awkward in this room and I have to move them nearer the mic. And this is as near as they get. Ah! That thing had just sliced me clean in half, if this was accurate. Now don't say that, they'll change it. <laughs> right, I've got about another seven seconds, so this is going into video number two, isn't it? Right, I'll pause it here and then, uh, then do it. <laughs> 